Hi everybody, Ellen here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, books that lived up to the hype. So these may be books um, that are still hyped, or they were hyped, or ju they're just never going to be unhyped. Is that a word? <laughs> Let's make it a word in that case. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys with, about some books, as if that was something new. I don't, I, I don't know. Anyways, let's get started. So the first, actually it's a series, obviously, the, um, but the first series that definitely lived up to the hype is Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, and this is just one of my very, very many editions because I have a problem. Um, but I mean, Harry Potter, it's been a thing since uh, 1997, and it just blew up huge, and um, it's definitely one of the most popular series since, like, ever. Uh, one of them, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're magical, they're amazing, it's Shaker Rowling, I mean, what more, what more do I have to tell you guys to realize that this is the shit? <clears throat> and then we have this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, and this is about monsters, and I know that, um, Victoria Schwab has a lot of books, I've only read this one and A Dark Shade of Magic, and I do own uh, Our Dark Duet, but I haven't read it yet. And of course, I would read everything she has ever written because her writing is amazing, as is her stories, and they're very original, which is what I like so much with her stories. Um, but this is definitely one that live up to the hype. And like I said, Victoria Schwab is definitely the talk of the town, you know, figuratively speaking. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of talk about her books on BookTube in general. Uh, but since I haven't read the others, I'll talk about this one. So, I mean, Kate, she's human. And then we have August, who is a monster. And they, like, form this unlikely friendship. So, it's pretty darn good. And I love the fact that there's no romance in this book. I mean, hallelujah. And then we actually have a graphic novel collection series. I... whatever. Um, and these are written by... Um, and it's... It's Saga, maybe I should say first, um, but they're written by Brian K. Vaughan and illustrated by Fiona Staples. So I have the first six volumes right here. I know there's seven out, but I don't own them nor have I read the last one. And the eighth one is coming out in January, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I read the first six ones. And these are really, really good. It's very... Some things are very graphic, so it's a lot of sexual content and blood and gore and blech. <laughs> kind of gross sometimes with all the intestines and stuff. Um, but these are really, really good and there's actually a lot of kick-ass moments and it's hilarious at points too. Um, so you follow this girl named Hazel and she's actually the character um, that tells the story, uh, which starts from before she's born and then she's, you know, grows up. And it's about her and her parents, and her parents actually come from two different planets, so they're not allowed to be together, so people are hunting them down all the time. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, they're really, really good, and I love this series, and I definitely want to continue on with it. And um, yeah, this is definitely one of the graphic novels that I've heard been talked about um, a lot. And I'm not very well well versed in that, that kind of genre, but I want to get better. So if you guys have any suggestions for good graphic novels for us unused people, then please comment down below and let me know what I should read next. Um, but yeah, these are really good. And then we have The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. And this is a trilogy, and I know it's been out for a couple of years, and it's not... It's not really that hyped uh, anymore these days, maybe, because it's got a few gays on their neck. Can't really say that expression in English, can you? It works in Swedish. Never mind. Um, but um, this is really, really good, and I love Alexandra Brack, and this was definitely the book uh, that made me want to read more by her. I still have only read two books by her, but I own a couple of more. Um, but yeah, this is about Ruby, and this is sort of a dystopian kind of book, and... Um, you know, there's a disease going through the country, and all the kids 
uh, either die from this disease or they develop uh, these uh, different kind of powers. And all of the kids that get powers, they can be like sorted into yellow, orange, red, green and blue and depending on how dangerous you are, you get sorted into a different color. Um, yeah, she gets to go to this sort of camp thing for these children and one day she manages to escape uh, with some help and um, she's just trying to survive out in the world and this book is so good and there's so many feels this made me cry so many times I don't I don't really cry at books but this was so emotional and I loved it and such amazing characters and then we have Vi mot er by Fredrik Backman and uh, technically the most hyped book because this is book two in the series uh, but the most hyped book was uh, Björnstad or Beer Town as we call it in English these days um, that book was so so ridiculously hyped when it came out in, came out in Swedish um, last year I think it was like in September or August or something I don't know but it was so freaking hyped Everybody was reading it in the Swedish com book community and it was so amazing and everybody was like throwing themselves at this book when it came out and I actually met Fredrik Bachmann and he's hilarious so it definitely deserves all of the attention he's getting. Um, but yeah, really really great books and definitely one of the most hyped uh, Swedish books which was really fun to see and I love the fact that they've actually translated into English. The first book came out I think it was in April this year so I'm, I hope that you pick this series up and support a Swede because awesome and we hope uh, book two comes out in English soon then and this um, series evolves around a town called Beer Town or Björnstad as it's called in Swedish and they're like really like fanatic about hockey because this is a little town and this is really all they have to offer to you know, the places all around it. Um, and they have the chance to go big with this um, hockey team. And shit goes down. And since this is a small community, um, they stir up some trouble for different reasons. I don't want to say a lot because I think that um, you go best to go in blind because I pretty much did and it's so amazing. Um, so, yeah, just. Just go read it. And then we have The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer and we have Scarlet, uh, that's not the right order, we have Cinder, Scarlet and Cress and also Winter which I do not have a physical copy of because I'll extend uh, to that as an audiobook but I have read it and also all the short stories as well. Um, but these are amazing sci-fi books and I'm still looking for more sci-fi books that are amazing so give me some ideas people. Um, but these are retellings from different um, fairy tales. So Scarlet is Little Red Riding Hood, Cinder is Cinderella, and Cress is uh, Rapunzel, and Winter is Snow White, of course. Um, so we follow these different characters depending on which book you're reading, um, and it's so amazing. And you know, there's cyborgs in this universe, there's very high ticky ticky. That's so fun to say. I couldn't resist. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't want to say like a lot about it. Okay, that sounds mean to say it on everything. Um, but I mean, we start with Cinda, and she's this mechanic, and she fixes a lot of uh, really advanced things, really. And um, since so she's a retelling of Cinderella, she lives with her stepmother and her um, two sisters, stepsisters, and. Um, you know, she turns into Cinderella, kind of, with a cyborg part. She has cyborg parts. Sometimes they fall off. <laughs> Read them if you haven't already. I mean, they're very hyped. I think a lot, a lot, a lot of people have read them, but if you somehow missed out on these, Go read them. And then we have a little bit of Le Bardugo, because you can't make this video without, you know, having Leigh Bardugo. So we have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and these were definitely like one of the series um, that was floating around uh, booktube a lot when I started booktube last year. I think it was September 2016 that I started and these books were freaking everywhere and uh, I mean I understand why because now I have read them and this is just a really short description does well on this book so I'm just gonna say Six Dangerous Outcasts, One Impossible Heist because 
you don't want to know any more than that because these are fantastical and they're kind of magical um, but yeah these are really really good and look at those covers um, but yeah there's so many kick-ass characters in these books both female and male we have my OTP of like all time in these books and so many funny moments and kick-ass and feelings so many feelings so you know check them out if you haven't already eh? I hope you didn't think you, I would do this video without talking about these. Because these were definitely, definitely uh, circulating all around uh, Booktube at the end of last year. And I'm not surprised, to be honest, because they're freaking amazing. And also seeing like all of the Booktubers I'm following, I'm pretty sure I've seen like these books on like almost everyone's shelves. So they're obviously popular. Um, but this is Cypher. And I'm currently actually rereading Illuminate, which I've said like in 15 videos that I want to do. Uh, I'm not very far though, I am on page 66. But I mean, these are ridiculously quick reads. Um, that does stack it though. Um, but I freaking love these books. I mean, in this one, you follow Katie and Ezra, and their planet is being attacked because they have the, this like mind that they're not supposed to have on their planet called Carenza, I think it's called. Um, they are being attacked, and they have to flee on this spaceship, and shit goes down, and it's freaking crazy. And um, a lot of ticky ticky in this too, and um, it's amazing. And in this one, we have Hannah and what's his face? Nick. Hannah and Nick. And you don't want to know a lot about this one either, but there's a lot of kick-ass girl, uh, female characters in this one. Um, we have a lot of, like, nerdy um, hacker things, which we technically have a lot in this one too, so love that part. Um, but this is so freaking good. And it's, you know, the same universe as this one, but you have different um, main characters. And... Um, they're being attacked because that's the story of this series. <laughs> Always getting attacked and kick butt. And then we have Strange to Dreamer by Lady Taylor and this is just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. And I mean, I've tried to summarize this book before and it's ridiculously hard. Um, we meet Laszlo Strange and he's sort of this librarian kind of and he is obsessed with this place called um, Weep. Um, it's not actually called Weep because everyone who's ever heard of this place or seen it or whatever can't actually speak the real name of this town because magic. So they just call it Weep and Life So Strange is um, pretty much obsessed with this place um, and the story really takes off uh, when he is given the opportunity to actually go to this place and help the people that lives there and that's pretty much all I can say because otherwise we'll get really confusing <laughs> and it's really hard to describe any more than that um, but I mean the book is just as beautiful on the inside as it is on the outside and then we'll come to the last series I'm going to talk about today I mean there's a lot more um, hyped books you know books that actually lived up to the hype there's a lot of books that live we're, le we're kind of let down as well, according to me at least. Um, but yeah, this is the last year I'm going to talk about today. And I know I'll have a lot of other hype books on my shelves, but that's for another time. Um, so the last one I'm going to talk about today is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. So these are the three I've had read. Um, Throne of Glass, um, Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire. I have la read uh, Assassin's Blade 2 and I own the rest of the series. I just haven't read them yet because I suck. Um, but these books are really good. Um, we meet uh, Selena Serafian and she is an assassin. And she is uh, in this place called Endeavor. Is that the name? I don't know. Um, she's in a place uh, which is sort of like a work camp thing uh, and that is because um, she was outed so someone pretty much read along to her and said this is the assassin and um, yeah she was thrown into this place and um, then uh, Prince Dorian come there one day and he wants her to be his champion for this competition that his uh, father the king is hosting 
and she really has like no option you know other be the champion or stay on this thinking place that's horrible um so she agrees and then she has to um win these challenges to be able to become the champion of the king uh but there's a very very long way there and there's a lot of death and blood and gore and shit um so these are really really good series and um good for kick-ass um female characters if someone is looking but i mean everybody and their mother has pretty much read these books so i mean i'm counting on you having read them but maybe that's me so those were all of the books that I was going to talk about today that I think at least lives up to the hype uh, that surrounds them either now or, you know, before. Um, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give me some thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below. And yeah, actually come out with a sort of a extra video tomorrow. I will give you guys a review tomorrow. So yeah, don't miss that. So yeah, I hope we see each other next time. Bye!